Good morning, YouTube. Today, we are gonna work on Scott's Camaro. <laughs> we are gonna do the front brake pads on this Camaro. I figured that's kind of an interesting video because a lot of you guys might have cars like this Camaro. They're pretty easy to work on and he's gonna save probably about 500 bucks by doing this brake job ourselves and it's probably only gonna take us about an hour. Before we jack it up, we're gonna get the lugs loose because it's the front wheels and so then they'll spin if it's up in the air, but break the lugs loose, get it up in the air. As is my rule, when it's not my car, I don't do the wrenching. <laughs> Jeez. There we go. Did He-Man tighten those? Well, Look I at the whole car. I mean, was I that, tightened them, so. Was that you tightening them? No, I'm just trying to take the credit for being strong. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so strong I moved the whole car. <laughs> <laughs> Show us them guns. Looks bad. <laughs> Very loose. That one was loose? Yeah. Oh my god. All right. So not the same person tightened a different Whoa. Lock. That's scary. Well, m maybe when we're done, we could uh, check the torque on all of them. Yeah. Just to be safe so you're not having a wheel fall off. Damn. That's scary because I drive the shit out of this car. <laughs> Lugs and not bolts. I'm so used to bolts now. I haven't worked on an American car in forever. Come on, you dirty girl. So the good news is this actually has Brembo brakes. So this is going to be really easy. We basically just tap out this pin and this pin, which releases these springs. Then theoretically, the pad should be able to come out through the back. Hopefully we're able to get it out without having to pull off the caliper. Usually you can, sometimes you can't. We'll give it a shot. And if so, then we just compress the, the pistons and shove in the new pads and we're good to go. And while we're here, we're also gonna measure the rotor, make sure it does have enough width to handle the new pads. I have a little caliper measure tool. We'll put that on there. Scott's going old school. Yep, I'm gonna get my jeans dirty. All right, we got the punch and the hammer and the pin. So I just tap that pin out. I don't wanna hit it and have it shoot. Yeah, yeah, it won't, so don't, don't worry. To... I have to uh, be gentle with my you super muscles. <laughs> I'm Hans. This is Franz. I'm Hans. I'm Dime Franz. And, and we, we want to pump you up. <laughs> I need all this muscle to carry all the pizzas and hamburgers I left. <laughs> in, in one of those hindsight moments, we totally forgot we should have turned the wheel yeah. that, that way. In fact, we still could. We just start the car and turn the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that should be it. Come on. Damn you. Come on. Do it. Do it. Come on, Brimbo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hey, worked. Hey, look worked. at that. Hey, hey, that was great. Go any further. Let's take a picture. Make sure we have all the orientation of the parts. Yeah. All right. A little tap, tap, tappy here. Just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap. The room. So the spring doesn't come flying out on you. Thing looks like it's bent. Eh, nah, it's nah, not. My, nah. head, my head's warped. Yeah, that's like possible. My, my eyes are. <laughs> you're not symmetrical? <laughs> but your face is so beautiful, Scott. <laughs> you're just saying that because it's true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right now we get to play pry out the pads and the spring and all that good stuff so we're gonna use the punch and try and tap the pad loose a little hmm did it move at all i felt like it did just a little bit okay I'm yeah you probably have to do a wiggle like yeah back and forth back I'm and forth. try not to hit the uh rotor here yeah definitely go hit the rotor you don't want to score it it's moved a little making some progress there you can see it move. Yeah, it's making some movement here. Just, I'm yeah, just, just doing, the, doing the wiggle. Oh yeah, there it goes. Nice. Toast is done. Leave everything to me. doesn't go flying. I'm not wearing any, any eye protection either. Oh, do you want some? Uh, 
I have some. What kind of idiot would want to wear eye protection when working with a high potential spring? No one. Losers. Yeah. God. It makes you look so much less attractive and with weak. your perfectly symmetrical face. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised it's not just coming out right now. Uh, still got a ton of pressure on the pistons. Hey! Are those the same? Dude. Those are not the same. What? That is definitely not the same pad. Well, shit. <laughs> I mean, we could take another. Wow, these are gone, though. There is nothing left. Damn it. Bad Scott. Bad. <laughs> Square peg, round hole. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna we're gonna make a parts run. Either way, you had to break backwards too. I'm not the normal guy here. Okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> so frequently on rotors, they have stamped on the outer rim the minimum thickness level. I can't find it anywhere on this one. So what we're gonna do is measure it and then Google it and see if uh, we can find what the minimum thickness is. But basically, we just want to make sure that this is above the minimum thickness, otherwise we're going to run into problems. Okay, so it's 28.77 millimeters or 1.131 inches. So we're going to check on the, on the internet and see what that says. Okay, back from the parts store with the correct brake pads this time. Woohoo! Yep. So yeah, first thing we got to do is compress these pistons. So just give a little squeezy squeeze. Squeezy squeeze. Just enough so that the brake pads will actually go in there, the new ones. Came with a little pack of grease. Oh, this isn't frosting? No. Oh. I mean, it probably doesn't taste very good. Although it says organic. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of minty. <laughs> it's peppermint flavored. Sure, there we go. A little, bit, a little, little bit. dab of do ya. There it is. Oh, yeah. Do it. Do it. Grease me up, woman. <laughs> Lunch, Lady Doris. Have you got any grease? Yes. Yes, we do. Then grease me up, woman! Okie dokie. See, this is a technique I use for many things. Middle finger. <laughs> Get in there. There it is. All right, now we got to assemble that spring shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a new spring. Okay. Just stick the wang dangler here and the... Bang bang right here. The other, other way. You start the pin and then put in the spring, and yeah. then this pins hold the spring. Okay. Or you can slip the, the spring under the yeah, first pin. Yeah, do the first one that way. Or at least just get it most of the way over. Yeah, okay, we'll work through. Okay, success. All right. yeah, for spring number two, with a pin number two. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna be tricky. There's a lot of tension on it. Mm -hmm. I can feel the tension. Sexual tension. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual chocolate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sexual chocolate. God damn that boy can sing. You must be crazy. He good. <laughs> been stuck in this garage with you a long time. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> I want to back away. <laughs> I mean, I like you, Scott, but you know. <laughs> to know me is to love me. <laughs> We're coming out a little crooked here. Oh, yeah. Can't see if this is yeah, kind of lining or not. Mm. Thanks for through. Yeah. Congratulations, you have new brakes. Drop her down and torque them. Like NASCAR. Camaro's no longer in off-road mode. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's probably easier to push down instead of pull up. That would be too easy. It's not as hard on your body. <laughs> I'll take your word. Is that gonna help? You're going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way? Yeah. <laughs> it was going the right way, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, okay. Push down. <laughs> Wow, yeah, your car separated my floor tiles. That's strange. Must be just because of the, the way the jacking pushed uh, weight onto the, to the tiles when it set down. 
I don't know, maybe it was when we turned the wheel or something? Yeah, could it be. Or this car is just a big fat ass. I probably, should have, probably should have turned it until you took that off already. It's okay. Oh well. I should time you. <laughs> See how quickly you can do this. It might get embarrassing for me. And begin. Well, that one came out much easier. Yeah. I think. Oh yeah, there it is. Sweet relief. <laughs> <laughs> you got brake dust on your face. I don't like to get defeated. There's probably someone watching this screaming because there's something so obvious that I'm not doing right to simply pull these right out. They'll be screaming anyway. There we go. <laughs> and then it just comes out like nothing. <laughs> I love it. All this work and then. It, <laughs> All right. Yep, pretty worn down. Yeah. All right, let's get the new ones. Lube. Lube it up. Too bad I wasn't recording that. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> of course. You got lucky. You got lucky. Oh, nice. First try. Yes. That was good. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well, I thank you. I had a bit of practice in the past. I'd say you're an expert, man. You've done like one of these. <laughs> <laughs> A whopping one at a time. <laughs> Not as happy. This guy doesn't appear to want to move. Oh. Uh oh. Huh. That's a problem. Yeah, let me put some ass behind it. Mm. This one is in. But that one is fully. One's in, one's out. Jeez. Uh oh. It's not moving? Uh uh. Bring out the big guns. The rotor's moving a ton. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's not right, because you're putting so much force on it that it should compress. All right, so you can see our pistons are not retracting, even though we're putting a lot of pressure on them. So I'm going to do a trick where we're going to crack the bleeder. I'm going to obviously attach a hose to it so we don't bleed in any air. And hopefully by cracking the bleeder, we can alleviate the pressure uh, you know the fluid pressure on this and that will allow us to squeeze the brake fluid out of the pistons as we compress them and then we'll just bleed this caliper and hopefully make sure we got no air in it all right we'll crack this <laughs> in theory <laughs> wow you see that moving it off dude we need to flush your brake fluid that stuff's disgusting. Ugh. Oh, there it goes. Yikes. Yeah, I wonder if like the fluid's just so thick. Yeah, it's like it's almost like there's shit in there. Really nasty stuff. Yeah, that's a horrible urine sample. Chunks. Chunks of metal in there. Like rust and stuff. I wonder if your pistons are like rusted in there. Oh, well, that worked. All right, squeeze that one in. That was really weird. Yeah. I pushed it from this side. It's like it, it was stuck on something that popped loose. I'll try it on this one. Oh, there it goes. Wow. Nice. So we'll get this pad in and let's flush some brake fluid through. Like butter. Yep. Easy peasy, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we gotta bleed some brakes. 455 American horsepower. America! Yeah. I don't really feel like breaking up the motor. We'll just do a couple pump and dump. All right, ready, go. Off. Ready, go. Off. Ready, go. Off. Okay. All right, just gotta get the wheel back on and tighten down and then. Scott can now break again. Oh wait, you gotta you gotta do the uh, bed in procedure or whatever. Yeah. 
Just turn the wheel before we do this. Oh yeah, we could do that still. Yeah, we're getting to do a couple speed runs. Get your oh. ass on there. Oh, you're four. Yeah, that's alright. We'll uh, fix it after we get the car out of here. Okay. It's satisfying. I know. It's one of the best feelings in the world. Click, click. It said when you're Richard <laughs> and you break off, you shear off. You shear off the bolt that you're supposed to be twerking down. Yes. Look, Mom, I'm twerking. Ta -da. You have me brakes. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate that, all your help, the use of your wonderful garage. Yeah. Sorry I broke your floor. Yeah, you know. She's got a big ass. Breaking my floor. Breaking my floor. Very yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Some America pad bedding in mm -hmm. process. We're gonna go fast, then we're gonna go slow. We're gonna go fast, then we're gonna go slow. <laughs> and then probably a couple more times. A couple more times. Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> this thing does sound really good. Yeah. yeah I mean, I like that, that's, I mean, that's some straight America sound right there. You know what's ah, yeah! Th this sounds better than the Corvette, which really disappoints me. Yeah, I probably paid a little bit less than you. <laughs> <laughs> People are gonna think we're doing some dumb shit, but well, they'd usually be right. Nice. Okay. Nice. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> the person behind us, like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> this person's got to think we're crazy. <laughs> Drooling? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, my drool's on the windshield. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that was fun. Yeah. I, I want to bet in pads more often. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just ask all your friends to help yeah, change yeah. your brake pads. And... Or just betting in pads. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I wonder if the officer would take that as an excuse. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, putting the new pads on that car, pretty darn easy and saves a ton of money. The pads we got at the auto parts store were only 50 bucks and with discounts and everything, he only had to spend $45 tax and all in. 45 bucks to change the brakes on that thing. That's it. 
Nothing. It costs nothing, basically. I mean, that's, and he's already got 30 something thousand miles on that first set of pads. That's the one thing I will say. As much as I love dealing with Ferraris and everything like that, sometimes the super cheap and easy things about having an American car, when you live in America, that is, is just awesome. I mean, the parts are super cheap and they're ready available. You can just go into a parts store and buy them. I will say that car, for how much it costs, is super fun. <laughs> it's a really fun car. We were having a blast going out, <laughs> just roasting the tires and then doing donuts and you guys are amazing thank you so much for watching tell me if you want to see other car stuff that's not ferraris let me know if you think that'd be interesting if so that's something that i might consider doing more but in the meantime like share and subscribe hit that notification bell i appreciate when you guys do that because it does help out my channel so thank you very much for those of you that are doing that but we got a lot of car stuff coming your way it's gonna be sweet